Good morning, everyone. Time for your tropical update. I'm Marshall Seas along with Heather Tesh. She's checking out that stormy weather in the Central Plains right now. We'll have an update for you in just a moment. First, as you know, as we head toward July, we have an increase of the possibility for development further east than normal. And as the season goes on, we look further and further to the east over toward Africa for tropical storm formation. It's this area that's of concern right now in the Southern Caribbean, where we've got convection firing up once again. And this has persisted for a couple of days off and on. So so the National Hurricane Center is interested. Dr. Steve Lyons, John Hope watching it very closely for you as well. Meanwhile, the northern part of that old tropical wave still kicking up in the Florida Straits. Out here in the central Atlantic, we still have the remnants of wave number one. That was one moved off the coast about 24 to 36 hours ago, but we have a new one that has emerged off the coast too. But as it's slammed into cooler water, more stable conditions, it has lost any kind of uh, uh, hasn't kept his convection very well at all. Now, there's a sea surface anomaly out here that uh, Dr. Lyons and John Hope were looking at yesterday where there's some warmer sea surface temperatures off the African coast in a small area. So it bears watching early in the season this year, and they're keeping their eye on it for you as we are and the National Hurricane Center. National, or the uh, Hurricane Center out in the Central Pacific is watching this area of disturbed weather south of Hawaii. It shouldn't affect Hawaii at all, but there was uh, low-level circulation that was noted yesterday. And we're watching the coast of Africa in South or uh, Central America and Mexico for the possibility of a tropical storm formation. That looks pretty impressive, that area of convection coming off the coast right now. Now for the stormy weather in the Central Plains. Here's Heather. 